Okay, that was it for me. I think we will uh, almost start with um, the first uh, workshop of the day. Uh, it's by Stain and uh, Remy on uh, introduction to data exploration with Python, uh, MATLAB, Octave, and Jupyter notebooks. Um, let me first stop screen sharing. How can I do this? Okay, stop sharing. Um, and let me quickly introduce them. So Stan is a PhD student at uh, the VUB and he models the disease tra uh, trajectories uh, of persons with multiple sclerosis. Ah, uh, how do I pronounce it? I don't know. And Rami is a postdoc at um, in, uh, Université Catholique de Louvain, uh, investigating multisensory aspects of perception, uh, but also he is a key figure in, uh, in the eyes of many in the open science community. I, I'm sure you probably already saw him maybe somewhere. <laughs> For example, we have hackathon and so on. And Stan and Rami will take you on a journey of uh, visualizing uh, visualize neuroimaging data in Python and uh, MATLAB. So I would um, leave the floor to you guys. <laughs> sorry, I. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't pronounce some words if I'm like <laughs> reading <laughs> them. Wrong. And if you read them once wrong, you can't like repeat them correctly <laughs> like the second time. <laughs> No, that's no problem. Thank you so much for introducing us, uh, Sophie. I'm sorry my internet was unstable for a second, so I hope I didn't miss anything here at the end. I don't um, know. You, maybe you missed your awesome introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so indeed, uh, no, but I, I, uh, I got the, the most of it. Thank you so much, Sophie. Um, so perhaps indeed I can take over from here. Remy, please uh, interrupt me whenever, uh, whenever you feel like. Um, so indeed, welcome everyone to this uh, data visualization workshop. Um, I really hope you are going to enjoy this one. Uh, we tried actually because there is a lot out there uh, in data visualization and a lot of workshops that are already, already open source, which is super nice. Uh, but we try to uh, also um, make it very specific for neuroimaging data so that uh, you also learn how to work with NIFTIs, for example, um, and how to, um, yeah, because that's probably the data that you will mostly work with. So that's actually why we try to put it in that scenario. Um, that being said, um, the format of today will be that um, we are using Jupyter Notebooks to guide you through the entire process. So the Jupyter Notebooks have been prepared and um, I will give you a, a short overview on how everything is structured. So perhaps the best is to just share my screen over here. And there you go. Can you all see it? Yep. Yes, lovely. Okay, so um, this is our GitHub repository. Uh, if you go to OpenMR, OpenMR 2021 beta this workshop, the links will also appear in the Discord channel of day two and in the chat of the Zoom. Um, actually, what the GitHub repository is structured like, perhaps let's go through it a little bit um, uh, first. Um, we work with binder. This means that if we would actually, this, this GitHub repository contains all the code that we need to run the workshop, but it doesn't have any, uh, on your local machine, you don't perhaps don't have the dependencies that we use for this workshop. And that's why we use binder, because binder uh, allows us to host a, a Jupyter notebook, for example, in this case, in the cloud, which means that we can pre-install everything and that has already been done in the binder environment. And you can just navigate your way through the notebook without having to worry about any dependency. So that being said, there is, uh, this is the uh, repository. This is the uh, tree, star, tree structure. So we have the code, which is going to be the most important for you. By the, all the rest is actually mainly for uh, setting up the environments and the dependencies. And inside the code, uh, there will be two notebooks, which is the uh, Octave and the Python notebook, but not going in from it, uh, not going to it from the Jupyter, uh, from the GitHub repository, excuse me. You have to click this link over here, launch binder. So just ignore what is over here, launch binder and you will get into this uh, environment here, which is our binder environment. You will uh, be navigated, I guess, to, to check. Yeah, this one over here. So you might recognize the repository tree structure. This is exactly the same or almost exactly the same as the Jupyter, as the 
um, uh, GitHub repository, then you navigate to code, and then you choose one of the two, so Octave visualization or Python visualization. The two are actually identical in that sense that we tried to um, really show you uh, what are the uh, strengths and shortcomings of both languages to actually show the same things. Um, so if you navigate through the notebook, to, uh, the, the Python notebook and compare it to the Octave notebook, you will see that there are a lot of uh, similarities and sometimes you feel like, ah, this is like neater in the, in the one or the other. This is more cumbersome in, the, uh, in, in this language, uh, but you can decide that for yourself. Luckily, we have uh, opened also a, uh, a hackathon issue um, and uh, Anna, um, Anna has been working on this uh, quite a lot. Um, and the, uh, well, uh, yesterday she shared with us her R uh, work already. Um, so this is being translated to R, to which uh, a big thanks to her. Now, that being said, I think we can start uh, posting the links. Uh, one thing, um, there will be two breakout rooms for this Zoom, one for Python, one for Octave, just to make sure that everybody's on the same line. And if there's an issue in one of the two notebooks, then we can just address them within the uh, breakout room without bothering uh, the rest uh, working on the other notebook. So we will also not record the breakout room. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them there. You're not being filmed. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I hope everything was clear up until now. If there are any questions, then uh, please shoot. Remy, perhaps you have something to add as well? <laughs> well, now I'm just afraid to talk because I'm afraid my mic is just going to go insane on me. But apparently I'm talking and nothing is happening, so I think I managed to fix the issue. <laughs> so. We can still hear you. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. I've not gone all piloty. Brilliant. Um, no, I don't really have much uh, to add. Uh, I think at this, um, I hope that for um, everyone, the binder has managed, to, they've managed to sort of launch the binder and that it looks all right on their side. Uh, and I think after that, we just want to figure out who wants to go to which room, right? Yeah. Uh, take note that the binder link startup might take some time. Yeah, so if you please already do this, then we can in between the binary link and already start uh, start itself up. Um, and in, in the meantime, indeed, we can perhaps uh, divide um, between the two breakout rooms. Yeah, I will open up the breakout rooms now. Yes. Thanks. And you should all be um, able to choose which breakout room you want to be in. So either the Python breakout room or the Octave breakout room. Perhaps just uh, one additional note that I'm uh, going to add. So uh, this is a very, uh, this is of course, of course, a learning environment. So please don't hesitate to ask any questions. No questions are stupid. Um, we just like you uh, enjoying the workshop. So if there's anything that you really struggle with, please contact us, any of us, and we will redirect you to the uh, correct persons. But I will be there constantly and uh, Remy will be there, be there to uh, be your MATLAB sensei. <laughs> Okay. Then you're going to do the Python one, right? I didn't mean the Octave one? Yeah, that yeah. is correct. Okay. Indeed. So you can also go to a breakout room. Okay, so I'll be jumping to the other side. Yes. Okay.